on in. This is Anthony and his daughter Florence. What's on it? He shares the care with her mother, but he's currently not working. Now he faces a rise of around £150 a year on his energy bills. He says that's not just inconvenient, it could threaten his family life. If I'm not able to provide for my children, there will come a question of whether my children should remain under my care. And that's a real thing that I face um, as a single parent. Um, because my children have to come first and they have to have heat, they have to have food and they have to be able to live a comfortable and safe life. Ofgem already raised the cap by £96 in April. Now bills are expected to go up in October by at least another £139 for those on standard tariffs or prepay metres, meaning the average price per household will go from £1,138 to £1,277 a year. It's the biggest rise in a decade and the first time the regulators put the price up twice in one year. Both changes are principally driven by this increase in fossil fuel prices. So basically the price of gas in particular has reached record levels. So we're reflecting that cost in the price cap and we can't ask companies to charge less than it costs to buy the energy that they sell. But what we will do is we'll make sure they can't make the unfair profits they made previously. But those campaigning for more help for poor households say this price rise is coming at a very bad time. Universal credit uplifts uh, are likely to be withdrawn at the same time as uh, the reduction in furlough. So it's not only the scale of the increase that's um, very worrying, but also the timing. Anthony has looked for advice and he says one charity, Christians Against Poverty, have better understood what he's facing than the official regulator. We can't just put up with losing two or three pounds. That's the difference between bread and milk, for example, and not having bread and milk. I think this, this decision may not necessarily be in support of the people more than the, the companies and that's unfortunate. The regulator Ofgem says even with this rise, the cap is stopping energy companies making unfair profits. But still, for millions of households, what's been announced today sounds like a high price to pay. Well, Andy's in Westminster now. Andy, you feel like this couldn't have come at a worse time. If people are worried, what can they do? Well, Claudia Eliza, first of all, if they can, shop around, try and get a better deal from another energy supplier. Secondly, if you are in real difficulties, talk to your energy supplier. They are obliged, if you go to them, to try and work out a different payment plan, maybe spreading out your payments over some time so that you don't get into debt. If you do not talk to your energy supplier and you are getting into difficulties and maybe you start missing payments, they could, in theory, disconnect your supply. That is very, very rare and companies don't want to do it. So if you are in that sort of difficulty, talk to your energy supplier, try and work out a different payment plan. OK, good advice there, Andy from Westminster. Thank you.